Hey guys, so welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about Lewis dot diagrams. And now we did Bohr models in our last lesson, so we talked about how to identify how many electrons are in any given atom, and then of course fill them in in those energy shells in our Bohr models. So we know we get two in the first energy level, and then eight in the second and third. And today is going to be a little bit similar to those Bohr diagrams, but instead of looking at the entire amount of electrons in an atom, we're gonna be looking at just something called the valence electrons. And we're gonna find out what those are here in just a minute. So a Lewis dot structure is also known as electron dot or electron dot diagrams. So you can see it as either any one of these um, phrases, but they're all the same thing. And these are diagrams that only show the valence electron of an element as dots. Okay, so basically, essentially what what valence electrons are, they're just the electrons that are in the outermost energy shell. Okay, so like for example, this element right here has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total electrons. Okay, so we know that from the Bohr diagram that we see here. However, it only has one, two, three, four, five valence electrons. Okay, because those valence electrons are the ones that are in the outermost ring. Okay, so the valence electrons are the ones that are in the outer ring. So when we draw our electron dot diagram, we're going to put the symbol of the element in the middle, and then we're going to essentially draw the same thing that's in our outer ring of our Bohr model, just around the elemental symbol. So this one has five valence electrons, five dots to represent those valence electrons in the electron di dot diagram. And it's as simple as that. So how do you determine the number of valence electrons? So remember, a valence electron is just an electron that's in that outer energy shell. You can tell based on the group that it's in, okay? So the group number on the periodic table. So all of the elements in group one will have one valence electron. All the elements in group two will have two valence electrons. We're gonna skip the transition metals because those can be um, a little bit different. Um, everything in group 13 or 3A, three valence electrons. Everything in the carbon group, four valence electrons. Oops, sorry about that. Um, fifth or Group 15 or 5A, five, 16, 6A, 6, 7, and 8. Okay, so you just have to look at the group number that the element is in and that will tell you your valence electrons. Remember these right here, these are groups 13 through 18 or 3A through 8A. So if you're looking at it as 13, 14, 15, you just have to drop the one. Okay, so, um, and then just a reminder too, in our group 18, these are our um, noble gases. They have a full outer energy shell. That means they are stable. Okay, so they're not reactive. They're not looking to gain or lose electrons. We'll talk about that in ions in our next lesson. Um, but just a reminder that our noble gases are stable. They are inactive. They do not react. So when we're drawing a Lewis dot structure, we first have to find the number of valence electrons. Okay, and that is what we do from the periodic table. So you find the element on the periodic table. You determine what group number it's in, and then that will tell you the number of valence electrons. Okay. Then you will write the elemental symbol and draw the appropriate number of dots around the symbol. Remember, a maximum of eight. So we're just going to do the first 18 elements on the periodic table. Um, so the maximum number of um, energy levels that you guys will deal with are three, which means the maximum number of electrons will be eight. Okay. We're going to imagine a box around the symbol. And starting at the top of the box, you're going to add dots one at a time to each side with a maximum of two dots per side. Okay. So when you start drawing these structures, you want to do it just like with your Bohr model. So you'll go one, two, three, four. So you want to fill around the box first and then come back and do five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so 
go ahead and pause this video. We've got some elements here on the screen and I want you to write these down in your notebook and I want you to try to complete the Lewis dot structures on your own before moving forward in this video and checking to see if you're correct. Okay, hopefully that was <laughs> enough time for us to pause. But if we take a look at these elements, these are their valence electrons, and then these are their Lewis dot structures. Okay, so remember, especially for um, these elements that have more than four, remember when you fill them in, you want to go one, two, three, four, and in this case, it's five, six, seven. Okay, you want to make sure you fill each side of the box first before going in and filling the additional electrons after four. Okay, now I'll do um, a couple of examples in your assignment today. So when you pull up your assignment, I'll have another video of doing some more of these. But that's it. So Lewis dot structures, you find the valence electrons based on the group that the element is in on the periodic table. And then you just draw those uh, valence electrons around the elemental symbol. And that's it. If you guys have questions, of course, let me know. And if not, I will see you guys in our next video.